thing. <laughs> if you drove past any mall today, you were probably shocked at what you saw. Nothing. But in the weeks leading up to Christmas, it was a whole different story. The banks lent and Americans spent. A lot of, a lot of money spent in, in, my, in my family. But it was how Americans spent their money this year that was different. Surprisingly, clothing sales were down, but if you had your heart set on that big ticket item, you probably got your Christmas wish. This year, Americans were spending money on interesting types of things. Some luxury goods, maybe someone got a very expensive piece of jewelry under the Christmas tree, or furs. Recreational items also got a thumbs up this year. For got her set of golf clubs. Set of golf clubs. She wanted a new set. Mountain bike, I got a camcorder. And if you had kids to buy for, electronics were sure to be high on their lists. It's the videos. I mean, you know, the Sony Playstations and the computer games. Well, I was looking for a pager for my daughter. That was, uh, I had to find a special pager for her. If you didn't get the gift of your dreams, tomorrow is a new day. The day after Christmas is the second business, busiest shopping day of the year. The sales weren't as strong as retailers had hoped. What's going to happen is there's going to be a lot of bargains out there. So I would say get in there early because it's going to be pretty busy. You'll probably get the best buys on sweaters and coats. And of course, a jump start on decking next year's halls. In South Fayette, I'm Lisa Beatty, the 10 o'clock.